Hello everyone, this is Anayat Meer with my new AWS video. This is the video where I am going to show you how you can terminate your AWS instance, your AWS default volume and S3 bucket. So let's log into your AWS console. So you should use your admin account to log in to your console. Uh, you want to avoid your root account if you have to then you can use your root account if you are using multi-factor authentication so once you go into your console you will see that how many instances you are running it depends on what region you are actually working in so let's go and take a look at different region uh, Oregon US West Oregon in this region let's see if i am running some ec2 instances no it says launch instance that's mean i have to know or i have to uh, document where my instances are running sometimes i don't know where my instances are and i'm paying monthly for it so let's go back to my ohio region us east ohio I know that is where I have my AWS free tier instance is running. It was free tier but no more because up to one year it is free. After one year you have to pay so approximately $15 to $22 a month I am paying for this instance. Uh, not a big deal so let's take a look how to stop it. Go select the instance and review these all options but you have to stop the state. So once you get on to the instance state you have to stop that instance state so let's take a look on that so uh, just read very carefully uh, because whatever storage you have uh, by default with this instance will be lost so you have to make sure that you are aware of this so once you click on yes terminate so not only your instance is gone actually your instance plus instance storage will be gone in a second now you are done uh, now we can basically see that uh, the billing is different now so after this instance like not this month for next month uh, i will not accumulate any charges here you can see that for the last month bill was fifteen dollars and six cents or sixty cents and for a future month i will not be billed because my instance has been terminated the second thing is that if you have a storage uh, like an s3 bucket and also you want to delete that so i'm not going to delete just to show you how you can delete your s3 bucket so simply have to select the bucket and also see what is in there if you want to see how big the data is and click on delete you will be deleted so, so, so your bucket will be deleted so this was another thing which i wanted to show you thank you for watching my video